Let's do a really good stock lick in D. All right, I'm at 79 beats a minute. I'm gonna try to do it over 12 bar blues of some sort. One, two, three. thinking D chord, G chord, A chord, back to D, or in some order like that. So, the D chord, 10th fret, it's like 10, 12, 12, 11, 10, 10. It's an E shape. So, I start with that idea in my head, and then I'm going to work around it. So, I am hitting three notes of that chord. The uh, F sharp, A, and the D. But I'm gonna, that's a major third, a fifth, and a root. A triad, the notes of the chord. But if you just play that, it's pretty boring. We gotta jazz it up with like a minor third. So that note's kinda dark. And then we brighten it. Minor third to major third. So it's a 10, 11 on the third string. Second string, 10, 12. So it's F, F sharp, A, B. Then a D, which is 10th fret, first string. I'm going to slide. I'm going to match that root. Same note. It, you could just go. It's all right, but I like. Because you got that exciting slide. And these are the same pitch pretty much. But they sound a little different. You put a little shake on that second D. So now the timing one and two and three. One and two and three. All right, now when we go to G, you're just going to take the exact same thing down to the third fret, the G. You know the G bar chord, right? All right, we're just going to work around that within the framework of that chord. Minor third, major third, fifth, that's a sixth, a root, and then match the root. Back to D. Then your A is based off of this chord. back to D or however whatever the chord progression is assuming we're in the key of D D is the one G is the four A is the five a one a one four five chord progression it's just one way you can uh, get through a blues solo without just kind of being a stumble bum on the up and down the scale like what you know maybe I don't mean to be negative but I do see this a lot where people like learn a scale and then they think they 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 kind of stop progressing because they, they know the scale they're just gonna go up and down the scale you're gonna stumble across some cool stuff and you're also gonna sound kind of um, like you're just meandering too so you know somewhere in there is some good but I think it's better to develop these phrases and hot licks. Let me do it one more time.
kind of hear the progression. I was just kind of stumbling around with it. Yes, it does sound repetitive, but at least you're going to be making sense with the phrasing. Then you can start modifying these stock licks and uh, tweaking them and doing your own thing. But at least you'll have a, a legitimate framework from which to build your personal style. All right. Thanks for checking out my videos. If you could give me a thumbs up, subscribe, that'd be totally cool. I'm just waiting for students to show up. So uh, keep rocking.